Hey Jamima, I wanted to put together a little video just to help you out. Um, let me know if this helps or if you have any other questions. So on the gene expression decoding sentences, I'm just going to walk you through the first one and then um, I think you'll be able to get the rest of them. And you don't have to do all of them either. If it's time consuming, you just want to do a couple sentences, that's totally fine too. Um, so, if we're going over here, the whole idea of this lab is to help us understand um, what happens when you have information on DNA in the nucleus. Well, how does that information get from the nucleus and actually become a real protein in your cell? That's what this activity is supposed to help you understand and simulate. So, if we look here, let's... Uh, I can move it okay. All right, so we start with our DNA. So right here is our stranded DNA. And on our stranded DNA, it reads TAC. And so I'm just going to write it over here, TAC. And so you think, if we're going to make RNA, what is going to be that complementary base that always bonds with T, with thymine? And hopefully you know that it's A. The complementary base that always bonds with adenine, well, if it were DNA, it would be thymine. But because we are making RNA, so this message can leave the nucleus, the thymine gets changed to uracil. So A, U, and then C will always bond with G. And so what we're doing here is called transcription. It's kind of like taking the English language and transcribing it into a different language, right? So we're going from DNA language to RNA language. And so if you notice right here, we have exactly what I have over here. So you just continue to move down that line. And as you do that, you continue to transcribe the DNA into RNA. And so I'll do this next one. It's C, and so it would be G. There's a G here, and so it's complement would be C, and another G, so it's complement, or C, so it's complement would be G. If we continue, we have CGG, so it would be GCC. We have CGT, so GCA. And then we have ATG, and so it would be UAC. So notice I just transcribed DNA language into RNA language. Well, now I need to actually translate it into a sentence that makes sense. And in order to do that, we get the help with what's called transfer RNA. Transfer RNA are little molecules that you have abundantly in your cells. And transfer RNA carries a sequence of RNA that is going to come up here. For example, if this is my sequence... I'll be a, be a big T for transfer RNA. If AUG is on my messenger RNA, well, I need a molecule that's going to know for sure, hey, AUG, this is what I want. And the only way that we know that is if we can connect another molecule to it. And so your transfer RNA has the complement of your messenger RNA. And so there's lots of steps here, so it gets a little confusing. But this transfer RNA is really special because down here, it's carrying that amino acid. And that's what we're going to string together to make a protein. And so this transfer RNA is just asking what would be the complement of the messenger RNA. And so as we go through, we see AUG would be UAC. So we write it here. GCU would be CGA, and we continue, uh, I'm going to change the color, uh, it'll be CGC, it'll be CGG, it'll be CGU, and the U would be AUG. 
Gee, the dogs are barking in the background if you can hear them. So now we get to the point where you were asking, what do I do here? Now you're going to look at this right here, okay? And you're gonna come up here in the yellow. And so I'll highlight this. This is what would be in the yellow up here. So you're gonna look for each of these above in the yellow. Because the, this is called, this is known as the anti codon. So the anti codon. So if you go above here and you're looking for UAC in yellow. So UAC, I find it right here. What is in blue is going to be what you put on purple. So you notice it says start. UAC is always the start. In all proteins, we start with an amino acid called methionine. And so UAC is going to be start. So I just write start here. Then I go to my next anticodon. It's CGA. So I'm going to go up here in the yellow, and I'm going to look for CGA. And I find it right here. And right below it is the word drink, so CGA, CGA, the word drink. So I'm going to write the word drink. The next one I'm going to do, the next anticodon is CGC. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to look for... I'm going to go through and look for, oh, right here, CGC. The word below it is water. So I'll come down here and I will write the word water. If I go to the next anticodon, it's CGG. I come up here, I'm looking for CGG. C, oh, right here, I find it kind of like a little hide-and-go-seek. I find CGG, the word is every, and so I'll write the word every. So my sentence is starting to take form. It says drink water every, hmm. What do you think this next word might be? You can start to actually predict. And so I'm going to look for, in yellow, I'm going to look for CGU. So I come up here, I look for CGU. It's the first one right here. Drink water every day. So I'll go ahead and write the word day. And you know that this is working because that's a sentence that actually makes sense. Drink water every day. This last anticodon, and it'll be the last one in all of your sentences, is AUG. And so you come up here, you look for AUG, and look, it is a period. I put my period there, and you have the sentence drink water every day. So this is what happens in your cells billions of times every second. Your DNA takes its message, it gets transcribed into messenger RNA, the messenger RNA goes out of the nucleus to the ribosome, where the ribosome calls in the transfer RNA, which has the anticodon, and the transfer RNA is carrying the amino acid. And so in this case, our words are acting like the amino acids, because when I string amino acids together, I get a protein, just like when I string words together, I get a sentence. I hope this helps. Let me know if it is helpful or if you have any other questions. And I hope you're doing well, Jamima. Um, miss you tons, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, kiddo. Bye-bye.